the lasting impact of this milestone. Arguably the highest compliment that can be said about game officials is that you barely noticed them. That might be hard to say Monday night when the Rams face the Buccaneers. All seven on-field officials will be black. It will be deemed historic. These black men calling holding, pass interference, delay of game, or explaining a coach's challenge. Referee Jerome Boger, a longtime official, understands the significance. I am humbled to stand on the shoulders of the black officials who paved the way for me, especially Johnny Greer, whose number 23 I wear today. This grouping of officials comes the same calendar year that five of the seven officials in Super Bowl 54 were black, in which the Chiefs defeated the 49ers. It also comes 55 years after Burl Toller became the first black game official in pro football. At a time when the NFL and its clubs are finally being held accountable for their lack of diversity among head coaches, general managers, team presidents, and league executives, an all-black officiating crew gets at least one game together. I am happy and honored to be contributing in such a small way to this big moment in the history of the National Football League. Regardless of color, race, or religious beliefs, we all can work together and accomplish our common goals. It's been a blessing to have a career in a profession that I truly enjoy and look forward to participating in each and every day. And like all officials that call clean games, they'll hope not to get noticed. But for this occasion, they might not mind too much.